This year marks the 25th anniversary of one of the greatest men's basketball squads in Florida Tech history. Under head coach Tom Foliard Sr., the 1989-90 Panthers won 25 of their 27 regular season games, advancing as far as the second round of the NCAA Division II tournament for the first time in school history. Headed by the starting five of Dwight Walton, Devon Kelly, Ashley Smith, Robert Sewell, and Ray Paprocki, the Panthers also featured Chris Rose, Igor Barros, Mike Smith, Dave Love, Jamie Lathrop, Dave Murphy, Doug Newbert, Craig Burnett, Jim Krantz, and Joe McManus. Arthur Jackson, although he was not on the team, played a role in the lives of the Panthers through his positive personality, energy, and attitude. After the 1988-89 Panthers made the NCAA Division II tournament for the first time in school history, the 1989-90 team was determined to go farther. Florida Tech kick-started the season by rattling off eight consecutive wins. One of the victories was against NCAA Division I George Washington University in the Florida Today McDonnell Douglas Holiday Tournament. Florida Tech's first loss came in the championship game of the Holiday Tournament from Division I opponent Murray State University. The Panthers gave the Racers a battle, but they ultimately fell 72-62. The Panthers commenced the Sunshine State Conference slate by toppling Rollins College 90-75. The win paved the way to an 11-1 conference record and the program's first ever Sunshine State Conference championship, which it shared with the University of Tampa. Florida Tech closed out the regular season on a 13-game winning streak. However, the Panthers were tested once again following a first-round loss in the SSC tournament. They proved to be resilient once again, this time in the NCAA tournament where they beat Norfolk State University 73-63. The team's run would come to an end in the second round as the Panthers dropped a close battle to Morehouse College 81-77. Tom Foliard Sr. was named a National Coach of the Year. Dwight Walton was awarded second team All-American following the season. He averaged a team high 17.1 points with 10.7 rebounds. Devon Kelly, Ashley Smith, and Chris Rose also posted double figures in scoring. Leading the team in assists was Ray Paprocki at 206. Kelly was second at 164 assists. Congratulations to the 1989-90 men's basketball team. Hi, my name is Ray Paprocki, and I was a member of the 1989-1990 Florida Tech men's basketball team, which is being inducted tonight into the Sports Hall of Fame. I first and foremost want to congratulate my fellow teammates, those that are here tonight in attendance, and unfortunately those that could not make the ceremony. We had a special year uh, in 1989, 1990, and I think we exemplified uh, commitment and teamwork, and, uh, and I, it, it showed in, in, in the results of that particular season. Uh, Florida Tech was a special time for me, being away from home thousand miles away for a four-year period uh, I was able to maintain and sustain uh, relationships friendships that have been with me uh, since I left FIT so I I feel very very fortunate uh, in particular guys like Devon Kelly Dwight Walton Tommy and Kevin Foliard Doug Newbert Chip Greek Steve Freeman Bino Campanini it, the list goes on and on and on and uh, it wasn't just those four years that we were in school that we were friends. As I said, it, it has stayed with me uh, all these years after. So just a great time in my life. There were some faculty members at FIT that also impacted me uh, in a very positive light. I look back on Dr. Callahan, Dr. Gordon Patterson. Uh, I, in particular, Dr. Gordon, Gordon Patterson, I remember being a student in his class and he was the first individual or first professor that I said to myself, wow, I guess it's cool to be really smart because that man taught me so much and just the way he spoke and, and, his, and his command of the English language. And uh, I, I'm just, again, it's, he's one of these individuals that I'm glad that you know, our paths at some point crossed. I'd also like to thank the selection committee for making this necessary, I mean possible. Um, it's, it's a great honor, as I said, for, for us to be here. So thank you. Thank you to Bill Jurgens as well. And then finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention three people that really, uh, again, impacted me during my time at FIT. First, Arthur Jackson, who's being inducted tonight. 
I think uh, it's very difficult to get a consensus amongst people, but I think the one consensus you can get is that Arthur Jackson is quite possibly the nicest human I've ever met in my life. And I think everyone probably feels that same sentiment. His positive energy, his outlook was infectious. So thank you, Arthur, and congrats. I know your family is here tonight. Coach Foliard, he was the architect of our team. He took us from worst to first. I loved his toughness. I loved his competitiveness. And his fingerprints, obviously, are all over the, the season that we had, 28-2. and two, And um, he was a great man. And then finally, Mrs. Foliard. She was my mom away uh, from home. Many times, Mrs. Foliard was uh, able to pick me up, say the right thing, cook the right meal, whatever it is. But um, again, uh, three people that I just felt it was incumbent upon me to mention here. And um, I'm looking forward to a very special night, and I thank you.